UEFA fire warning shot over Super League as Liverpool stance confirmed. You're watching, Liverpool News Video. Alexander Jefferine has said that clubs are free to enter into a breakaway competition but should they do so they will not be able to take part in UEFA competitions. The UEFA president, speaking at the Financial Times Business of Football Summit, addressed the remaining agitators for a breakaway European Super League, Juventus, Real Madrid, and Barcelona, three clubs who have been pursuing legal action against European football's governing body ever since the initial project imploded back in April last year. Liverpool were among the 12 clubs to try and launch a breakaway ESL competition last year, a plot that crashed and burned just 48 hours from its launch following a fierce backlash from fans. The Reds, Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester City, Tottenham Hotspur, Inter Milan, AC Milan and Atletico Madrid all renounced their involvement in the competition in the days following its failed launch, with only Barcelona, Real Madrid and Juventus remaining wedded to the project. Liverpool's principal owner, John Henry, had filmed a video apology to fans in the wake of the ESL's collapse and pledged to fund the costs that were associated with it. Since then the Reds have launched a supporters board after working with the spirit of Shankly supporters group and other Reds fan groups, where any future decision over joining a breakaway league would have to receive consent from the newly formed board. And with the three rival clubs continuing to agitate for an ESL as they seek to try and find new ways to bring in revenue after their finances were exposed due to the pandemic, Chefferine has made his stance clear. I am tired of talking about this nonsense, Chefferine said today. Honestly speaking, they can pay whoever they want to write that this is a nice project, that they are full of solidarity and give some charity to small clubs. The Champions League, the most lucrative competition for Europe's major teams, is set to undergo reform from 2024 via a Swiss model, where the number of teams will increase, meaning more games for teams and more media revenue to be delivered, with the next cycle of media rights for UEFA's Champions League, Europa League and Europa Conference League set to be worth in excess of £12 billion. Some have argued that the reform leans heavily in favor of the bigger clubs, with the mooted prospect of places for clubs based upon historical performance in Europe a bone of contention. We are discussing with all our stakeholders, we are discussing with the leagues, we are discussing with the clubs, the ESA. We have not clarified the final decision, but for anyone to compare the reform of the Champions League to the Super League is not serious. We have 32 teams in the Champions League now and the plan is to have 36. In their latest set of accounts for 2020-21, published on Friday, Liverpool confirmed that the ESL costs would be met personally by Henry. Back in September, Liverpool reaffirmed their ESL stance in a statement which said, Our involvement in the proposed ESL plans has been discontinued. Thanks for watching.